So in this uh, session, we will see uh, how to enable currencies and how uh, the uh, set of tasks related to currencies and how uh, uh, how we can enable the uh, daily rates. Uh, so all that we'll see and. Uh, and in UI also, we can see uh, the changes, whatever we did, uh, that changes. Okay, so, so first of all, uh, um, so for currencies, we should go to setup and maintenance. And then uh, we have one task called uh, manage currencies. So, uh, so when we, uh, if we, if, if we don't see some currencies, uh, so we should enable here, uh, but again, so there are two steps. So, so when we are, when we get the first time, the instance, so all the currencies are by default enabled. So first we should go to, uh, manage currencies task. And then we need to disable all the unused or not not use it currencies uh, for that environment so we should uh, we should go to every uh, uh, currencies uh, or you can just click on set so we'll get all the enabled currencies and we need to disable whatever the currencies we are not using so this helps in uh, performance in improvement so and uh, it and whenever we want uh, in later stage in that time we can enable the currencies what we want so after enabling these currencies and and still if we are uh, not able to see the uh, currencies in currency field so every every object will have a currency code field whether it's a standard field or um, for custom field so every object, most mostly every object will have currency code. So in that list, uh, we should see these currency codes. If if we enable here and if we still don't see that currency code, then there is a chance of uh, uh, chance of uh, uh, like there is no currency or daily rate enabled uh, for that particular currency. For that particular time period so uh, we know right like uh, uh, every every day currency uh, currency rates will change and uh, in in this application then usually we won't uh, we won't uh, um, like change daily on the on a daily basis but what we can do is we can uh, define so uh, suppose from uh, you um, from USD to uh, INR. So and from um, so this is uh, July, right? So July first uh, to July thirty. So this is the currency rate. So that particular setting we can define in this application. Uh, and if it is, if that is if that setting is not defined, then at the respective currency right will not will not show suppose inr uh, inr uh, if if we don't set this uh, uh, conversion rate from usd to uh, inr this inr will not show in in our list because there is no conversion and uh, and and the default currency we can set uh, here so using this manage currency profile options. So here uh, we make it, we, we can set the default profile option, uh, default currency value. So whenever we are creating a record, right? So automatically it will apply this value as a default value. And, uh, and currency, uh, yeah, this will be the default currency for every record. Uh, and, and still, if we want to change, we can change from the record itself. 
And one more profile option will just tell uh, the type of uh, currency rate. Uh, so we have uh, uh, user or corporate. So usually we will use corporate. So uh, now uh, we have enabled currencies and we have enabled uh, the default currency also, but still, uh, so where we can set the uh, daily rates. Right. So for that, we should go to one task called manage uh, daily rates. Manage daily rates. So in this task, so first tab uh, is showing the currency uh, types available. So we have uh, set the uh, default as corporate and we'll ignore uh, this for now. Uh, then the second tab is uh, will show the uh, daily uh, this daily rate information suppose uh, if we want to check the currency uh, uh, rate between usd to um, okay so from currencies uh, usd and two currencies i will say uh, uh, yen okay and I need to select the date range also. So I'll select from uh, today to 30th or 31st. So I will just click on search. Okay. I have uh, different rate types, but I'll choose only corporate. Okay, so now you can see uh, So uh, we'll sort it. Yeah. So now you can see from currencies USD to JPY and uh, July 1st, rate type is corporate. So the conversion rate from USD to JPY, uh, Japan yeah, N currency is 110.817. So this is the rate we are giving. We have already done this one. So, uh, right. If we did already in the system, so then this uh, for this period, these rates will appear. So if we don't define any currency uh, rates, it won't show this history. And that time we need to uh, import. So we need to create this daily rates. So for that, uh, uh, for that, what we can do is uh, we can first step is we should go to this navigator and then uh, go to tools. Uh, step one is step one is. Uh, Uh, there is one desktop integrator. Okay. Uh, somehow this is not showing. So we will have one icon called uh, under tools. Mostly it, it will be under tools desktop integrator. So we should uh, click on that and we should uh, download that wizard, uh, that adding. So, uh, and we need to install that in, into our system. So after doing that step, quickly show. Okay. So uh, in tools, uh, we will have uh, this, icon uh, download desktop integration installer so we need to download this uh, installer and then we need to uh, install it so after installing this particular uh, th this uh, adding so then we should uh, we should go to our task Okay, so after installing that uh, add-in, right? So, uh, so here we have one button uh, called uh, create in spreadsheet. 
So if we just click on this uh, spreadsheet, so it will uh, it will give a spreadsheet, Excel spreadsheet. So this is a macro enabled uh, Excel sheet. Uh, first step is uh, we need to enable and uh, we should uh, choose, uh, do you want to connect? Yes, we need to connect to the environment. And then it will ask uh, to log in. So we should uh, give our username and password. So after giving that, so it will fetch uh, the uh, uh, information uh, related to currencies. Okay. So here uh, we need to choose the same way how we uh, how we uh, saw the currency daily rates, right? In the same similar way, we need to select here. So from ZF, uh, USD to so JPY, right? Uh, so we have selected uh, USD to JPY and conversion rate type is corporate and from conversion is uh, the date which is uh, which should uh, the start date of this uh, con conversion rate so here we should give the format as um, month okay and then uh, the date then year so similarly uh, we can give two conversion date as uh, 31st so i'm defining conversion rate for this entire july month so and i may be giving uh, 88 point so 23 so this current currency rate right so we should we can get from external websites like uh, some uh, uh, there are some website trusted website so where uh, it will give the uh, currency rate uh, currency rate uh, today currency rate so we can get that or if our customer is giving uh, the, this uh, daily uh, this conversion rate so we can get uh, from the customer also and uh, we should we will give this uh, then inverse rate is uh, so one by eighty eight point twenty three. So that will that that will be uh, inverse rate, and it will calculate automatically. And uh, so this action is nothing but uh, insert or delete. So this particular uh, uh, record, if uh, do, do we need to delete or we need to insert? So in our case, uh, it is insert. We are creating new daily rate. So I'm. Uh, I'm going ahead and I'm uh, so I'm uploading. So like this, if we have uh, for different currencies, right? So different rates. So something like this. So we'll give the same. We can give same. And then after ent entering all other, uh, uh, all the rows, right? So if we want to, we can insert few more. Okay. few more we can insert like that we can just insert and then we'll uh, use this submit uh, i'll just check uh, okay for now i'll remove this one or i'll just give uh, uh, for just one day so i'll give two zero two but this is how we can uh, give start date and end date. So we can just give, uh, we can give any date. So I'm giving uh, today to tomorrow. So this, the rates which I'm giving should be applicable. Okay. So now we should click on the submit button here. So then it will ask us a pop-up. Uh, submission options. So here uh, we need to click OK. Then it will uh, process that uh, import and it will say how many records created. 
uh, records, number of records that failed with validation, okay, two. Okay, the, the, it considered the last two records also, which we just inserted. Uh, in our case, it's fine. But our two records got inserted successfully. So we can say, uh, we can see here record status as if row inserted successfully. So now this change we can check in our environment. And all uh, this, right? So we can see uh, the errors also. So if we go to this record, so we, we can see the errors also. What is the error? So based on that, uh, there are some required bills, right? So we, we have not passed it, but we just insert it. So it's giving error. So now if we want to check this uh, daily rate, right? Uh, USD to JPY. And previously for this uh, rate, you can see uh, 110 is the rate. Right from uh, 7 1 to 7 uh, 31. So now we'll just uh, uh, refresh. And now you can see the daily rate. So we have changed, right, for uh, 1st and 2nd July, we have changed the rate to 88.23. And that got uh, inserted here. And in a similar way, <clears throat> Uh, okay, so this is how we can uh, create the daily rates. So, so if uh, so in our currency field, if the, if this is not enabled, uh, then we should uh, we should enable uh, this daily rate, and we should configure the, this daily rate, and then only uh, all the enabled currencies, all the enabled currencies will appear in the currency code list. And uh, so currency code, uh, so by default, uh, so for every object, right, for every custom object or for standard object like in opportunity, uh, currency code field, field will be there. So automatically that field will take all the enabled uh, with, uh, with this conversion rate enabled uh, that the, uh, the enabled currencies with the valid uh, um, currency rate for that particular time period uh, will will get we can see those uh, currencies only in that fields and that currency code is a standard field uh, which will create automatically even if it is a custom field even if it is a custom object it will create uh, by default So, and based on, uh, and how uh, this currency rates are useful uh, for us is, so suppose, um, so there are two opportunities. One opportunity is uh, uh, like, uh, so we uh, we are working uh, with INR. So uh, INR as a uh, currency code. So same opportunity if someone, uh, a same user in US, where there's uh, their uh, language preference or currency preference is uh, USD. So then uh, automatically uh, the same record, uh, uh, the amount, right, amount fields will get uh, shown in their currency with this conver conversion rate. So suppose here, if it is a, um, or if in US, if it is a $100 uh, amount uh, we are seeing, and the same record, if we open as a uh, uh, like India user and where uh, the preference is uh, uh, rupee, so hundred into seventy seven, so it will it will show that amount as a uh, amount value in that particular field. So that is the use of uh, the currencies, mm -hmm. currencies and currency uh, my, uh, currency rates. So 